What's up guys, Inigami here, and I know you're wondering, how do we get all those beautiful, high quality pictures straight from One Piece Trailer Cruise? Well, we're going to go over how to rip sprites from the game. Uh, normally, if you wanted to get an image from the game, you'd have to either just open up the game and take a screenshot, and just kind of Photoshop things around the character to try and get what you want, but we can actually get the raw character files and even like sprite animations for our characters. So uh, if you want to get sprite animations for characters, what you actually have to do is uh, go into a stage. Let's say I want to get the character sprite for... Let's see, let's put... Let's say I want to get the character sprite for Sugar. I want to get her little in-game character sprite. I actually have to load it up. The method that we're using is we're actually going to load the characters up into... Uh, the cache of the device, if you don't know what the cache is, it's basically temporary memory that the game is loading in. So that way it says, okay, these pictures I care about using right now, so I'm going to put it in this temporary spot. It's going to decode it, make it into an image that the Android will understand. And since it's temporarily being used, we actually stop it right here and rip those files out. Uh, so what we're going to do is, let's say we want sugar, we're going to load up the game so we're actually we're in game right now. Then we're going to just minimize the game. We're going to use a explorer such as Root Explorer. I'm going to open up my uh, recent places. No, not recent places. Where's my pictures? OPTC. Extracted. So here's my... If we go to Root in droid x No, I want to go back to Root. Excuse me. You go all the way back to the very first area. Root is your base level. From root, we're going to go root, data, data. We're going to go to com dot namco bandai. And without the E, if you're using the English version, you want the E. Without the English version, we're using it without the E. Files, cache, GPN, where is it? GNP cache. So in here, you see 00010203. We can highlight all of these, or uh, I guess we can just select the GMP cache, copy this, and where we're going to copy it to, if you're using droid for x which is the one I'm using right here, you want to go to settings, and you're going to select your share folder, and I'm going to make it into my, this, this one that we're in right now, which is, oops, which is my pictures, my pictures, OPTC extracted. So that's the I just set my Droid for X share folder. And in order to find this one, what you have to do, you have to go to root. You're gonna go to your SD card. And you're gonna go to Droid for X share. So that is this one right here. We're gonna copy it there. It's gonna take a little while to do. But you can see it's already shown up in our extracted folder. And we can see once we open up this, you'll have the 000102 all the way down. That's if you wanted to get uh, one of the in-character sprites. Now, if you wanted to get something like the uh, a single character image, like the Sadi Chan that we had earlier, I'm gonna finish laying this. Actually, I can just I can just stop this because I don't really need to copy this whole thing over. I'll cancel that. But just for demonstration purposes, you can open up. You can see here are some animation sprites, some of the letters and texts, and what's actually loaded into the temporary memory here it's a, it's a little bit random depending on what you've done last and your character might not be there right away you might have to close it out reload it, and uh, open up and refresh this and do it again you can see you can see like character images some little things here and there and see and some of the special effects animations you can see on this page as well so let's clear out this delete everything from here I don't need those I refresh this to reflect there's nothing in there we're gonna go to. We're gonna leave this on a cache page. We're gonna get rid of. We're gonna rip Sadi Chan out. So we're gonna go back to One Piece Treasure Cruise. Exit the game because we don't need this. And in order to actually rip a character image out, you're gonna have to actually view the character. So we're gonna go to Sadi Chan, view her, and this should put the her image into our temporary memory. Then go back into Root Explorer. Refresh this page just to make sure, open up GMP cache, and we can just search here c1.png. And the reason we're looking for c1.png is because the way that they do the characters, it's a naming format where they do character underscore the number underscore c1.png. 
that is the large that is the uh, the large file image name. You can select that, copy it. I can close this search results later, and I'm gonna copy it into this folder, the Droid for X Share. And it's right here. There you are. So now we got the full, highly detailed Saichan image. It's got a invisible background or the uh, transparent background like you would see in the game and you don't have to photoshop anything so that is how we rip sprites from the game especially these character sprites that i use for one piece trailer cruise thumbnails and stuff like that that's it that's how we do it uh if you want to know where you can find out all the ones we've already ripped out there is a dropbox i know google drive that you can find on reddit or i might have the link in the video description below but I've been Zinigami, good luck. If you want those resources, get them yourselves, or just look at the ones we already have for you. Y'all stay beautiful.